Chapter 6. Purpose. The reason why something is done, created, or exists. Activity without purpose is the drain on your life. Tony Robbins. Decide upon your major definite purpose in life and then organize all your activities around it. Brian Tracy. Define your priorities, know your values, and believe in your purpose. Only then can you effectively share yourself with others. Les Brown. A sense of purpose is an incredible alarm clock. Mel Robbins. They all talk about it. All the great speakers, coaches, consultants, and gurus. The importance of having a purpose in your life. But where did it all begin? Well, for me, it started back in the mid-1980s when I first picked up a copy of Napoleon Hill's classic book, Think and Grow Rich. At the time, I was in my early 20s and I was determined to join the ranks of the wealthy, self-made men and women who had already earned their fortunes and attribute their success to this book. However, I discovered years later, when I became a little bit more mature and, well, hopefully a little bit wiser, that this book was so much more than a how-to manual of acquiring riches. In my opinion, it's a step-by-step -step formula on how to get whatever you desire from life. Don't let the title turn you off. This amazing book can help you to improve your relationships, health, finances, and more once you understand the simple concept that it's a guide. A guide on how to get whatever you truly desire in life. Personally, I believe a better title would have been Think and Grow Successful. I'm not going to devote too much of this chapter to promoting or reviewing the principles of this book. However, I would advise you seriously to consider reading it if you haven't already done so. Word of warning. As it was written in 1937, when the world was a very different place, some may find it a bit, well, a little bit dated and a little bit hard to read. I will, however, focus on what I believe to be the main principle of the book, which is how to create what is referred to as your definite major purpose statement, and how to use it to program your mind and move you in the direction of truly whatever you desire in life. Believe it or not, by the end of this chapter, you are not only going to identify your life's purpose, but you're going to begin the process of living it each and every day. In addition, you're going to identify, and more importantly, live your purpose in each of the key areas. Your relationship, your health, your personal growth, and your finances. This is a major part of our personal development system. It's why you are doing what you are doing. It's your vision of a better and brighter future. It's what's going to motivate you to do what needs to be done, when it needs to be done, whether you feel like it or not. Without a strong enough reason or purpose to take the required actions that are always required in order to create lasting change, our system would be almost entirely useless. It's extremely important that you fully understand this. If not, more than likely you're going to give up at some stage when action is required and you just don't feel motivated to do what must be done. Action cures fear, and fear is an emotion. It's an emotion that is preventing you from having exactly what you want in your life. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear of the unknown. Don't let fear stop you from living the life you deserve. I'm a big believer that if you have a big enough reason, you'll always find out how. But keep in mind, it is always going to require action. This is why having a big enough reason or purpose in each of the key areas is so important. So let's get started on the process of discovering your purpose. It's important to note that while we're going to use some of the principles of what Napoleon Hill introduced in his book, we will be using a slightly condensed version. The reason for this is based on a few things. First off, as I've previously mentioned, the book was written in 1936. And while much of what is included in the book still applies, a lot of progress has been made in the area of personal development. In addition, as Think and Grow Rich focuses mainly on acquiring money, we will need to modify a bit of Napoleon Hill's principles to include relationships, health, and personal growth. We will be using a three-step process in each of the key areas in order to identify the following. What do you want? 
Why do you want it? How will you get it? Let's start with the most important relationship of all, your relationship with yourself. I want you to take some time right now to write down as many qualities, traits, and virtues you generally like about yourself. They can be written down in a single word, such as honest, kind, or funny, or they can be written in the form of a statement, such as, I'm a hard worker, or I'm very creative. Take about five minutes right now to use the spaces below to write as much as possible. If you are listening to the audio version of this book, please press the pause button and do not continue until you have finished. Now take a few minutes to write down as many qualities, traits, or virtues that you would like to improve upon if you already possess them or develop if you don't. So now you should have two lists of qualities, traits, or virtues you either like about yourself or would like to improve or acquire. What I want you to do now is to merge these two lists into a single list. Take a few moments, select between three to five of the most important of these from either list and write them down on the lines below. You should now have a single list of what I refer to as your must. These are the most important qualities, traits, or virtues that you believe you must incorporate into your life to become the best version of you. In addition, these qualities should really transfer over to the remainder of your relationships and even in the area of your health, growth, and finances. For example, when I did this exercise, I came up with the following, happy, well-balanced, strong, independent. The point being is that I believe if I live my life each day as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man, not only will this greatly improve about how I feel about myself, but will also assist me with my other relationships, my health, my personal growth, and my finances. If you don't totally understand what I'm referring to, it's okay. As we progress, I believe things will become much more clear. It's really important that the words and or statements you have chosen as your must are strong, powerful words that really represent something meaningful to you. In order for this to happen, you must be very clear as to what is the definition of these words. What do they mean to you, not only intellectually, but emotionally? Allow me to provide an example by going back to my own list and providing you a definition or a statement of what they mean to me. Happy. To me, this means satisfied or content. Well balanced means I'm relatively well balanced across all the four key areas. Strong, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Also means that I'm disciplined and willing to do what needs to be done when it needs to be done, whether I feel like it or not. Independent. Self-reliant means I can always depend on myself no matter what is going on in my life, the economy, or the world around me. Now it's your turn. Take some time now to write down what the words or the statements on your must list mean to you. Take your time and be sure to be clear with the meaning and choose words that really hit home with you. You now should have a single list of the most important or must have qualities, traits, or virtues, and should also have a brief statement of what those words mean to you. You are now ready to start the process of writing down your purpose statement. Now, keep in mind that this will be a work in progress, and it is not expected to be perfect the first time or times you write it. Do your best and have fun with it. Don't get caught up with spellings, punctuations, grammar, at the moment. Also, remember this statement is for you and you alone. You do not have to share with anyone unless you're 100% comfortable doing so. On the space below, I want you to write the following. My definite major purpose for today is to live my life to the best of my ability as a, then insert all the words or statements 
from your must list. Then, end it with man or woman, whichever applies. As an example, below is how my opening statement would look based on my must list that I shared with you a moment ago. My definite major purpose for today is to live my life to the best of my ability as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man. Believe it or not, this brief statement is exactly what I want from the day. It is my purpose for doing what I am doing. It is my primary objective or goal for the day. It also completes the first step in our three-step process. Know what you want. As you may recall, step two in our process is know why you want it, which is every bit as important as knowing what you want. We now need to dig a little bit deeper into the four key areas, starting with your relationships. We need to know the reasons why you want to work to improve your relationship and what you'll receive in return. Let's start with the individuals you have elected to direct your focus on within your system with the exception of yourself. For an example, you may recall when I designed my system, I put down my wife, my children, and everyone else. Take a moment now to write down the individuals you have included in your system on the lines below. Remember not to include yourself as we've already addressed your relationship with yourself in the first step. Now take some time to think about what you want and what positive emotions those relationships will provide for you. Come up with a minimum of three words or emotions that are critically important to you in the area of your relationships and write them down on the lines below. For an example, to me, it's important I develop loving, lasting, and meaningful relationships. Picking up from where you left off earlier on your purpose statement, write the following statement. The reason I choose to live this lifestyle is because I know that living this way on a consistent daily basis will virtually guarantee I develop and enjoy, then enter the words or emotions you have chosen that are critically important to you in your relationships and the people you have chosen to include in your system. For an example, my statement would now look like this. My definite major purpose for today is to live my life to the best of my ability as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man. The reason I choose to live this lifestyle is because I know that living this way on a consistent daily basis will virtually guarantee I develop and enjoy loving, lasting, meaningful relationships with my wife, children, friends, family, creator, and virtually everyone I come into contact with. You have now completed the first two steps of the three-step process in the area of your relationship. What do you want? Why do you want it? Let's continue by directing our focus to the key area of your health and fitness. What do you really want and what do you hope to achieve long-term in this key area? Well, for me, I wanted to ensure I look and feel my best and provide me with the strength, energy, and longevity so I can enjoy life to the fullest. Take some time now to decide what you really want and why you want it in the key area of your health and write it down on the lines below. As an example, here is what my purpose statement looked like when I added the next sentence to the statement. My definite major purpose for today is to live my life to the best of my ability as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man. The reason I choose to live this lifestyle is because I know that living this way on a consistent daily basis will virtually guarantee I develop and enjoy loving, lasting, meaningful relationships with my wife, children, friends, family, creator, and virtually everyone I come into contact with. I also know that by living this lifestyle on a consistent basis, I will develop and maintain higher levels of health and fitness, not only will I look and feel my best, but this will provide me with the strength, energy, and longevity to enjoy life to the fullest. 
The next key area that we need to address is the area of your personal growth. What do you hope to achieve and why is it important you achieve it? As we have done in the previous two areas, let's add another sentence to your statement to include this key area. Below is a sentence I added to my statement as an example. My major definite purpose for today is to live my life to the best of my ability as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man. The reason I choose to live this lifestyle is because I know that living this way on a consistent daily basis will virtually guarantee I develop and enjoy loving, lasting, meaningful relationships with my wife, children, friends, family, creator, and virtually everyone I come into contact with. I also know that by living this lifestyle on a consistent basis, I will develop and maintain higher levels of health and fitness. Not only will I look and feel my best, but this will provide me with the strength, energy, and longevity to enjoy life to the fullest. In addition, I will continuously grow as an individual. I will increase my level of intelligence, ability, and understanding. So I have more to give not only to myself, to my family, and society as a whole. Take some time to add your sentence to include in your key area of growth below. As you know, the final key area is devoted to your finances. By this stage, I'm confident you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Below is an example of what my purpose statement looked like when I included the key area of my finances. My major definite purpose for today is to live my life to the best of my ability as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man. The reason I choose to live this lifestyle is because I know that living this way on a consistent daily basis will virtually guarantee I develop and enjoy loving, lasting, meaningful relationships with my wife, children, friends, family, creator, and virtually everyone I come into contact with. I also know that by living this lifestyle on a consistent basis, I will develop and maintain higher levels of health and fitness. Not only will I look and feel my best, but this will provide me with the strength, energy, and longevity to enjoy my life to the fullest. In addition, I will continuously grow as an individual. I will increase my level of intelligence, ability, and understanding, so I have more to give not only to myself, but to my family and society as a whole. Last but not least, I know living this lifestyle will provide me with financial freedom. Not only will this guarantee me security and comfort for the remainder of my life, but also for the lives of my family and everyone I care about. Okay, now it's your turn. On the lines below, complete the first draft of your purpose statement. You'll notice I highlighted the word first draft. That's because this is exactly what it is, a first draft. Your purpose statement will take some time to complete before you are totally satisfied with the final draft, but that's okay. You have now completed the first two steps of our three-step process in all the key areas of your life. What do you want? Why do you want it? Don't just take my word for it. See for yourself based on my example below. What do I want? My major definite purpose for today is to live my life to the best of my ability as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man. The above statement is exactly what I personally want from the day, week, month, and my life. I want to live my life as a happy, well-balanced, strong, independent man. Why do I want it? The reason I choose to live this lifestyle is because I know that living this way on a consistent daily basis will virtually guarantee I develop and enjoy loving, lasting, meaningful relationships with my wife, children, friends, family, creator, and virtually everyone I come into contact with. You now know what you want and why you want it. In the next chapter, we'll focus on the third step in the process, how you will get it.